y'all hey welcome back to another vloggy vlog if this is your first time here my name is princess and on my channel we we just do life over here together and so yeah we vlogging like i said um I, first of all i just want to shout out all of you guys who actually watch my vlogs i have a lot of other content on my channel and i will be bringing a lot of new content um to this channel as I get back into the groove of recording regularly. Um, but for those of you who actually watch my vlogs, who watch the content that is purely me getting to know me, I am so appreciative of y'all. I used to feel some kind of way about uploading vlogs and nobody watching them. I don't know why, um, but I don't anymore. You know, I am just grateful for those of you who decide to get to know me on a a more authentic level so thank you so much um for watching my vlogs it's only a handful of y'all and i am so appreciative of you guys um shout out to you thank you for doing what you do so i'm at work i'm at my eight to five right now um i work in education for those of you who are new here. Um, I've held multiple positions in the fields of education. I've been a teacher. I've been an instructional specialist and department chair. I ran an entire science department. I used to teach biology and principles of health science for those who wanted to go into the medical profession. Um, I also taught medical terminology um, and microbiology. Um, and yeah, like I said, I ran an entire science department, was responsible for a team of teachers and about 1600 students star testing which is our state exams i was responsible for all of that did there for four years and in my new role i serve as kind of like a um a campus-based social worker for those of you who may not know or who are new here this may be your first video um, of mine that you're watching i'm in school to become a um therapist um, my program is a clinical clinical psychology with a concentration in marriage and family therapy. And so with me pursuing that degree, I decided that it was time for me to transition over to a more holistic role in education where I'm dealing with the total student um, and everything that they bring here. So I'm not a campus-based social worker. That is not my title, but the role that I have here is very similar very similar to that we serve uh similar functions um on our campuses so yeah um i just got here and i just made some phone calls followed up with some parents um did some follow-up with some students i gave out some resources um and supplies and i'm actually y'all it's early it's 10 o'clock and i'm actually pretty much done with my day um i pretty much organize myself and structure my time here at work to where I'm pretty much done. Um, so I'm about to go up on the hallways and kind of just peek in and check in on some students. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. And then um, on my lunch break, I'm gonna head home and work on my business. studio um i just finished placing some orders for fragrance oils some that i've already tested and i'm really happy with and then some to test for a new collection that i'm working on that is very 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 close to my heart i can't wait to share with you guys what it is but in the interest of protecting my idea i'm gonna keep it to myself for right now but when i get to the point to where i'm okay with sharing I will share it with you guys. Um, oh, by the way, you guys got like a little 
sneak peek at my label design, my new font, my new logo. So y'all tell me what y'all think. What do you think about the new labels and everything? I think it's super cute, but that's just me. I'm partial, of course. <laughs> my goal, my goal, <laughs> I hate to put dates out there because I'd be hard on myself if I don't meet my own personal deadline. But my goal is to have this new collection of products ready by June 10th. Now, when I say ready by June 10th, that means all of my products are formulated, packaged, labeled, pictures are taken, my website is updated because I need to update my website with my new logo and everything. And I have to retake all of my product pictures since I've changed my labels. So I want to have all of that done by June 10th. And I want my website to be open and ready by June 10th. Okay. So I'm manifesting. I'm putting that out there. I'm speaking it into existence. So I'm really, really hoping. And I'm excited. All of my products that I'm, that I'm um, getting ready to launch, I have been testing for a very long time very very long time so they're all stable they're all perfect i love them so much i'm super excited to put them out i think i keep saying that i'm super excited i still have a couple candles left over there y'all and a couple wax melts not that much they're almost gone so they're still on sale 15 percent off oh and another like little sidebar thing so i was not planning on doing lip gloss anymore so if you've been around then you know when i started my business i started my business with lashes and then i added lip gloss so glosses and lashes and um lash liner glue glue lash glue you know stuff accessories for you know lashes and lips i also had like lip balms lip scrubs and all that other stuff but i stopped making lip glosses okay but people keep asking me about these lip glosses so I'm thinking about bringing them back. I've been going back and forth for myself about what I should do. People keep asking for them. So since people keep asking for them, I'm strongly considering bringing them back. So I have about 100 lip gloss tubes that I've never used and never released with my current logo on it, which is this one right here. That's not my logo anymore. So if I'm going to bring back lip gloss, I'm going to have to find lip gloss tubes. Well, not fine, but I'm going to have to buy new custom lip gloss tubes. What do y'all think? Do y'all think I should bring back lip gloss? Let me know. Trinice, I already know what you think, girl. I already know what you think because every video you comment, you talk to me about the lip gloss. So I already know what you think, boo. But what do y'all think? I don't, because I don't know. Hey, y'all. Hey, new day. Brighten up my camera. Okay, there we go. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's a new day. Um, I had to come home because Houston is crazy. And we had a torrential downpour that knocked the power out at the school I work at. And then my neighborhood that I live in is in very close proximity to the school. So it also knocked out the power at my house. So I left work and I'm at home. And I wanted to show y'all something real quick. So y'all, I am slowly turning into that mama that makes everything. So I made body wash last night. This is what it looked like after it set. I put too much dye in it. I was, I actually have already made this recipe, not recipe, formula. <laughs> Let's use proper terminology. <laughs> so I've already made this formula because I am planning on releasing it in my body care line. That's some tea for y'all. But I wanted to play around with some colorants that I've never tried before. And then some extra additives, like some things I wanted to put in here to, you know, to tweak it, to add some more skin nourishing, um, uh, components to it so well, that's what I did there go my ingredients right there okay and I'm very excited because I have a tester canner that I poured 
a couple days ago. Um, it's in one of my 16 ounce glass jars. And y'all see what's in there? Wooden wicks, yes. So I'm testing out these spiral wicks in these jars because I have a collection that I really want to release with these wicks. And so I'm literally, and this is a half jar test. So I start off doing half jar tests because when candles burn, they get hotter towards the center and bottom of the jar. And so I always start with the half jar test because if the candle performs good with these wicks at the half jar point, then it's a bigger likelihood that they will perform better in a full jar. So I test it here to see if it burns well. And then if it burns well with a half jar test, then I will make a full candle and I will burn it from top to bottom. Okay. If you guys would like to see that process, the testing process, like drawn out, let me know. I don't mind doing that for you guys. And I will be having some like dedicated content videos that are dedicated to formulating candles, body products, skincare, and stuff of that nature. These are just my blogs. So in my blogs, I'm just kind of like taking you along on the things that I'm doing. And because my business is a daily part of my life, it's also in my blogs, okay? But I will be doing some dedicated business videos, hair videos, all of that other stuff, okay? So if y'all have any um, requests of specific content that you guys would like to see, please let me know, okay? As I am planning my dedicated video schedule. water phase i'm using this big mama beaker here it can hold 2000 milliliters of products and we're going to start off with distilled water guys when you're making any skin or body care product you always want to use distilled water i'm going to add some vegetable glycerin into this it is a humectant it draws skin, uh, moisture to the skin and then some dl panthenol which is also known as vitamin b5 it is great for improving hydration reducing water loss of the skin it also softens your skin, improves skin elasticity, is great for fighting inflammation and itching. Um, it improves dryness and roughness and scaling of the skin. It's a really, really great um, additive to put into your skincare and body care products. This is why I love making um, body creams and lotions because you can put so much goodness in it. And of course, I'm adding some aloe vera. I prefer to use um, the concentrated powder of aloe vera because it is more stable. It is easier to preserve um, and it is more potent um, and it's easier to store. OK, so now we're going on to the uh, oil phase of our product. So I'm weighing out my emulsifying wax right now and I am using a weight boat for my um, oil phase products because I want to make sure that I get these ratios correct um, because this can mean the difference between a stable formula and an unstable formula. So I've also already weighed out my emulsifying wax and now I'm adding my thickeners and um, alcohol, so acetyl alcohol and cetyl alcohol. They are both stabilizers and thickeners um, and they emulsify the product and they make it stable. Okay, now we're going into all of my butters. Now, the staple butters that I use in my business, what, my, what I'm known for in my brand is Murumuru butter and Elipe butter. So I use this in my body butter formula. So of course, I'm also including it in my body butter cream formula. These butters are so expensive. Murumuru, Elipe, and Kokum butter, y'all go do a Google search and you will see 
um, the comparison between using these butters and a butter like Shea or Mango Butter. They are luxury, high quality. They have really great skin properties. Um, they're fast absorbing and they're great for healing the skin. Okay, so this is why I chose those butters and I also do include Shea Butter in there. So now I'm measuring out my liquid ingredients. So I'm using rice bran oil, which is extremely high in vitamin E. Avocado oil, which our skin loves and is amazing for adding softening and moisturizing and sealing properties. And now I'm adding Caprile Capric triglycerides, which is an ester made from coconut oil, but it's much more gentle and it doesn't irritate the skin like other coconut uh, derived products can. And so it's moving kind of fast, y'all, but what I did was I melted and heated everything up using a double boiler method. And I just pour my oil phase and my water phase together and I'm using my stick blender, my immersion blender to make sure that that emulsion comes together really well. And I'm using a mixture of blending and mixing motions because you wanna make sure that those products come together real well. And then after that, you just have to make sure that you watch the temperature because you have to put in a preservative. There is no way to skip this step. You have to use a preservative to make sure that your product doesn't go bad. I like to use Liquid Jarmar Plus in my lotions and body creams because it is, <clears throat> excuse me, it works over a wide range, a pH range. It is very easy to work with. Um, it's great for new formulators. So if you're looking for something that you can use um, and you're new, form new to formulating, Liquid Jarmar Plus is really, really nice. And then after this, we're just gonna blend it in. I like to use my stick blender again, just to make sure that that preservative is evenly dispersed amongst the entire batch. And then after that, we just let it sit and cool. Um, and then we can add our fragrance oils and uh, package it up. So yeah, that's the process, y'all. I hope you guys try it when I release it. All right, guys, so I'm sitting in my studio, literally waiting for my emulsified or my body butter cream um, to finish cooling down. Um, I just, I, I sh I've been sharing the process with you guys. I hope you guys found it interesting. Um, and I'm having a cup of coffee. I just took a shower and I used my body wash and oh my God, y'all, my skin feels amazing. It feels so soft. I can't wait for you guys to try this body wash because it's bomb. I'm not just saying it because I made it, but I promise you it's bomb. Y'all, everything I make is bomb. My candles, body products, skincare that I'm about to be dropping to, it's bomb. Just trust your girl, okay? Um, I also just finished crying my eyes out um, because of that shooting that happened here. I'm in Texas, Houston, Texas specifically, for those of you who don't know. And there was a shooting in Uvalde, Texas, uh, by San Antonio um, at an elementary school. 18, 18 babies, 18 babies, 18 babies gone taken from this world um a teacher and i work in education so this is in my home state i am an educator i work at a school every single day and my baby my daughter is starting school next year so y'all just listening to the story listening to it my heart is so heavy and I've cried the whole time I watched the news. I had to step away um, from the TV and step away from the news because my heart has been extremely heavy since I've been watching the story and I just needed to step away. But I'm just really, really sad for those parents who, unlike myself, you know, don't have the luxury to step away from this and to go and hug their baby because because their baby is no longer here and this uh I'm getting teary out again it's just it's just so unbelievably sad you know really really heartbreaking um I love to hear your thoughts you know about it if you want to share of course and I send out um prayers of grace comfort and strength um perseverance to any parent 
who is dealing with this to all parents who are dealing with this and to any of you who are deeply emotionally weighed down um because of this because it's just it's just it's just truly a tragedy and so i have to come into my happy place because this little space in here makes me happy lightens my heart um and i just wanted to kind of check in with you guys um i shared my full new logo on my business instagram if you don't follow it please follow well i'm not gonna ask you to follow if you're interested in following and supporting my business please follow um and if you're interested in following my my personal life my you know on my personal instagram then i'll put my other uh instagram also and i'll follow back let me know you're a subby and i'll follow you back i love interacting and engaging with you guys like y'all are legit the homies and i'm so grateful for those of you who have um been supporting my channel and my youtube journey and my business so yeah so that's that there was something else i wanted to check in with you guys about and i just i can't remember my mind has just been blown by the news that's on tv right now like, Oh, and I got a couple orders today, y'all. I'm so, so grateful, so thankful. Anytime I get an order, I feel extremely blessed because people don't have to shop with me. So when people do, I'm just so extremely blessed. Um, I still have a couple candles left. The candles are going, y'all. They are going. Um, I have a couple orders to pack. I don't think I'm going to pack them today. I'll probably pack them tomorrow and record myself doing that. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm about to drink my coffee and work on upgrading my business Instagram um, to make my uh, highlight covers match my new logo and branding. So I'm in the process. I'm slowly transitioning over the look of my business. Um, and since I shared the logo on my Instagram today, I think it's okay to start changing up my Instagram. People won't be like, whoa, what's happening here? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna relax and do that. And I think that's all I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I may do some studying. And, um, yeah. Hey, good people. What's up? Today is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, May 26th. I'm tired. Mentally, physically, just kind of exhausted. My work day, my 8 to 5 work day is coming to an end. I actually left work a little bit early because I had some things I needed to do um and i cooked a whole sunday spread it's thursday but i cooked like it was sunday y'all ridiculous i don't know what got into me um i got some packages in that i want to unbox with you guys and oh yeah i i'll show you guys in a second but my body butter cream is set up really well i think i'm gonna go ahead and package those up and label those in the video in this vlog um, if I don't, then catch me in the next one so that you guys can see how they look all jarred up and stuff like that. I do not think I'm going to put any color in these. I think I'm just going to leave them their natural color white. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm going to unbox these packages with y'all because that's what I really came on camera to do. But I'm just sitting here talking to y'all like like y'all don't have other things to do right just just talking let me get these scissors <laughs> and i'm gonna prop y'all up so y'all can see me let's do this one first so this is a package from zazzle and i ordered me another custom stamp um i have one let me show y'all the one i have I have this one with my current logo on. You know, I'm I'm changing up my logo right now. And I use it for a lot of things. And so since I have a new logo, of course, I needed me another stamp. So, and if you follow Talisha, hey girl, I don't know if you're watching my videos or not, but if you follow Talisha on YouTube, um, she talks about Zazzle. She's used them a couple times, and I believe she ordered her stamps and some other stuff for a pop-up shop from there. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it out since she said they're pretty good to go with. And so here's my stamp with my new logo. It's smaller, way smaller than this one if you compare. Um, I don't know, I was expecting it to be a little bigger. good 
good size. It's about three inches, I would say, maybe, give or take. Okay, so here's my stamp with my logo. Let's test her out. Have my ink pad right here. And I'm just gonna use the back of this packing slip. Let's see how it works. I'm not gonna complain. It was not expensive, so let's see how much did I pay for this? Twelve dollars and ninety cent was how much I paid for this, and it's two and a half by two and a half, so I was close. I said three inches, but not quite. So two and a half by two and a half inches. It's a rubber stamp. Um, regular price was twenty one dollars and fifty cent, but when I went on their site, they were having a promotion um, where you save forty percent. So I saved eight dollars and sixty cent. And they also included me a 15% off my next order purchase coupon code, which I'm probably going to use that very soon because I need to order some more branding stuff. So that was my first thing that I ordered off of Zazzle. I just wanted to see what it was like and I'm impressed. Okay. So my next package here is a box. I don't even remember what I ordered. Do anybody else see that? Order something, then when the box get here, you be like, what I ordered again? So this is from Wholesale Supplies, Wholesale Supplies Plus, okay? They always package stuff very nicely, and I save this stuff. So y'all make sure y'all save all of y'all packaging stuff. All right, so, okay. I remember what I got now. So, I don't remember if I showed you guys in this vlog and I, I probably did, but body wash, I'm making body wash and I wanted to get some liquid dyes to color my body washes. So I got these little five milliliter um, liquid color dyes. I got one, um, these are their stained glass uh, liquid colors. I got one in lemon yellow. I got one in apple red. This is what it looks like. And then I also got one in violet purple. So I'm gonna use these to add color to my body wash. I think I'm moving in the direction to where for my products, I only wanna use coloring on products that are wash off. Leave on products, I don't think I wanna color. So. Don't be surprised if my body butters don't have color in them when they return back in the fall. I also got some Coilodo Oatmeal. Coilodo Oatmeal. <laughs> Coilodo Oatmeal. This is a 16 ounce bag. I have some plans for this one right here. Great things. Great things coming. I also got some pumice powder okay. and is that it oh and then i also got some shea 50 which is an emollient and i got this to test out in my body wash i just want to see if it adds anything to, um if it adds anything to it so yeah so that's my little haul i have more things coming um and i'll show those to you guys when they get here. Hey y'all, it is Friday. And if you can't tell, I'm very happy. <laughs> I am at work. Um, I'm heading to the post office because I need to drop off. I'm sorry, the camera all in my face, all kind of crazy. I need to drop off um, some orders. So I'm about to go do that. And then after I leave the post office, I gotta focus because I'm driving. Do not do as I do. Do not drive and record yourself. It is not, it's not right. Just don't do it. Mm -hmm. But um, what about the same? 
Oh, after I finish dropping off these packages at the post office, I am going to go to one of my colleagues' campus. And I'm trying to hide the school that I work at, y'all, because I want nobody to come looking for me up here. So that's why this camera angle is real odd because I'm trying not to disclose my my location. <laughs> but yeah, so let me let out my window. After going to the post office, I'm going to go by one of my colleagues' campus um, who works in my feeder pattern. Um, she has a mental health a service provider that she's about to have a meeting with and I'm looking for new service providers uh, to provide therapy behavioral health um, interventions for my campus because the ones I've been working with this year have not been great okay that's being that's being a little too kind they suck okay I have a student right now who has been in crisis for the past like four months and I have been working so hard with her and her mom and the other you know members of the leadership team at the school to provide her counseling support um, I am I am one of the people on her safety plan so whenever she feels like she can't deal whenever she feels like she can't handle things um, she calls me or she'll come to my office now the problem with that is that my job um allows me a lot of flexibility because uh, as far as being on campus because i have to actually go out into into the community to meet partners um and to collaborate and you know a lot of the work that i do is off campus and so i'm not always accessible when she needs me now she has my personal phone number so she'll call me um so I, I, I made myself available to her in that way, but I don't extend myself to that depth with all of my students. This particular student I've been knowing for three years um, and we have a really good relationship. Um, and I've spoken with her mom and I've been working with her diligently. And um, it's just kind of one of those situations that, you know, she really doesn't have anyone um, to talk to about her mental illness because she doesn't get a lot of support uh, at home. I would never be okay if something happened to her and she, or she decided to hurt herself and I could have at least been a support system for her and I chose not to do it. So when it comes to her, I make sure that I try to make myself available as much as, as possible. Um, but I say all that to say that the service providers that I have been working with have been really garbage and I'm trying to find better uh, resources for our kids who have mental health needs it's something that I'm very very passionate about it's like one of my huge initiatives for my campus and so um, I'm about to go to her campus and meet with her and the service provider um, that she's meeting with to see if they could provide some type of service for my campus that would fit the needs of my students my colleague works at an elementary school yeah, she's at an elementary school and I'm at a high school. So the needs of elementary and high school students are different. So I'm just about to go meet with that person, chop it up, and um, see if they will be a good fit for my campus. <laughs> just here with my homie, my bestie boo, my tootie bug. You gonna say hi, Avery? Hi. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I just wanted to come back in and close out this vlog. Y'all, I am so tired. I um, Today is Saturday, May 28th, I think that's today's date. I had class today, so I'm literally just getting home from class, jumped in the shower, made me something to eat, and y'all see where I'm at bed. I am exhausted. Next week, um, we're going to go to a wedding. My pod sister, which is uh, one of my classmates who I've become very close with over the course of my master's program, she's getting married. She's Pakistani and Muslim. And so she's having this big three-day wedding. So I'm going to take you guys along with me there. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then also stay tuned for... Um, I guess like the final result of some of my products that I'm going to have um, launching. I'm going to be shutting down my website probably this week so that I can change the branding and stuff on my website. 
so um yep i'll be doing that and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please leave me some ideas about any dedicated videos sit down videos that you guys would like for me to do i have some ideas and i'm gonna start trying to get those out maybe starting next week um so look out for those and avery is just trying to show you that she's eating a popsicle <laughs> But yeah, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you so, so, so much for hanging with me. Those of you who take the opportunity or take the time, I shall say, to get to know me on a more intimate and personal level through my vlogs. I really appreciate you guys. Um, okay, Avery. Um, please like the video if you liked it. If this is your first time watching one of my vlogs and you enjoy the content, please subscribe. And leave any questions or comments, anything that you guys are curious about in the comment section below. So I'll see you guys in my very next vlog. And until then, remember, you're perfectly imperfect. Love all of you because God does and so do I. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>